Joining us is Erin, her mother Barbara, Dr. Aaron Foster, as well as Dr. Jorge Rodriguez. And Erin, first thing I want to say is I'm really glad you reached out for help. Thank you. Because I know that that took a lot of effort, but you're here for a reason, because you knew you couldn't keep living like this. I want you, I'm gonna pull up a picture of you, okay? I can't even look at it. Why not? Because I look awful. And I just think of myself as so healthy, that's why. It's hard to look at. Talk to me about what you feel even, we, we've all heard your backstory and I guarantee you everyone in this audience, their heart is breaking for you and everything you've been going through emotionally. I know it's hard for you to even look, but just tell us how you feel. I'm just tired of living like this. I can't do it anymore. I thought I could, but I can't. Did going through this process, reaching out to the show, you've met with Dr. Foster and Dr. Rodriguez, has it solidified where you're at, knowing yeah. that you need this help? Yes, and that I have support too, that people don't understand um, what I'm going through. And I, and I highlighted and I asked the audience before we had you out here, you know, exercise is good, right? Everyone thinks of exercise as good. But when I was looking at your visit with Dr. Rodriguez, because before we get into where we need to go from here, we have to acknowledge where we are right now. Uh -huh. I'm so happy that you realize that you need to change because when I saw those blood pressure readings, there are things in medicine we call hypertensive urgency and those blood pressure numbers, and I have, we haven't even talked about the other results of your testing, Dr. Rodriguez, but, but quite alarming. Oh, definitely alarming. Travis, seriously, in the six years that I've done this show with you, Aaron is the most ill person that we've had, the sickest person that we've had on the show, in my opinion. And you also, I know, ran a battery of tests. Oh, absolutely, first of all, Let's just start with that blood pressure. That blood pressure is, like Travis said, almost at a stroke level. And when you exercise, your blood pressure actually goes higher. So I think that's your baseline, because you hadn't exercised for hours. I did blood tests and all of this exercise. First of all, there's a test that shows how your muscles are, how inflamed they are. It's super elevated, so you're basically ruining your muscles by exercising so much. All right, they're deteriorating. Your white blood cell count was way below normal, which means that you also are developing an immune deficiency from not being properly nourished. Um, not to mention, your red blood cells are larger than normal. They may lead to a certain hemolysis. All of this stuff could overburden your kidneys, your heart. Your heart worries me because you have a low pulse and the pressure is so high that there are some signs in the EKG that you might have an enlarged heart. So all of that has to be looked at. And I'm so glad you took that first step, seriously, because otherwise, you may have just found this out through an emergency, all right? So, Dr. Rodriguez, thank you for, yeah. thank you. for that.